What's up everyone, my name is Paul and I'm sorry I haven't been uploading lately. It's just that I've been really, really packed with homework and stuff like that because the semester's ending and everything, but I have a video here for you guys today from my friend Alex. This video is hilarious and he's about to hit 1,000 subscribers and I'm hoping that you guys can help him hit that benchmark. Just watch this video, it's going to be like a, an action-packed comedy adventure. And also, he's doing a Black Ops 2 giveaway for the PS3. He's already done one for the Xbox and this stuff is legit. So go ahead, check out his channel if you like the video, and enjoy. And I will be putting out videos, um, hopefully soon. Hopefully all these tests end. But anyway guys, if you guys enjoyed the video, hit it up with a like and support Alex by checking out his channel in the description or I'll link on the annotation. My name is Paul and I'm out. Peace. Hello there everybody, Alex here bringing you some Black Ops 2 and I am going to be raping kids again in this game, hopefully this time. Uh, I haven't played Call of Duty since last night so I had a lot to do today so my hands are a little shaky but uh, nonetheless I've noticed that you guys uh, were really intrigued by my uh, Lost My Virginity video so I just wanted to come along and bring you another one of my funny sex stories. Now, this one does not involve me. This one involves my friend. Now, for those of you out there who are thinking, what the hell, just listen. All right, so one day I uh, came home from school and whatnot, and I wanted to go to my friend's house and see what he was doing because I, I was incredibly bored. I didn't have no internet. My internet was down, so I couldn't play any Xbox Live. I couldn't do anything. I mean, my only options were either resorting to playing the PS2 or just uh, drinking some rat poison until I died. And um, pretty much I called up my friend and I was like, nobody picked up because I was going to ask him if I can come over. So you know what? I said the hell with him. I'm just going to go over anyway. So my friend lives a couple of blocks away. So you know, I was like, you know what? Let me just walk on over to his house and see what he's doing. And uh, when I got to his house, I noticed that uh, his lights were on and whatever. So I was figuring, you know what? He's inside. He's probably playing Xbox or whatever. Let me see if I could just jump on with him and maybe we can just... Play some Xbox or just hang out, get some Pizza Hut or whatever. I forgot what the hell we did that day. But um, as I went over his house, you know, I rang his doorbell and his mom opened the door. And I was like, oh, hey, you know, is so-and-so there? And she's like, yeah, come on in. Yeah, my son here. So I was like, all right, cool. And uh, little did she tell me that uh, he was with his girlfriend. So quite frankly, I was not expecting anything. I was just expecting him just bumming around at home, just doing whatever. And, um... When I was walking through the living room, about to enter his room, I, I heard some noises. I heard, now, now, guys, this noise was very, very, like you know, very familiar. You know what I mean? It sound, it sounded like somebody was clapping in the room. It sounded like something like this. You know, like it sounded like that. You know what I mean? So I was like, you know what? He's probably just you know doing something in there. God knows what. So as I opened the door to go inside, everybody, lo and behold. I turn my head to the left and what the hell do I see? I see my friend banging his girl on top of the fish tank. Now, the first image I got out of this was I saw his damn ass cheeks just clapping away. You know, and to me that was horrifying because when I walked in I was like, Hey dude, you just- ah! it, it was fucking terrifying. Like, I didn't- my expression was like, oh dude, really? And then he didn't know I was in the room. But his girlfriend saw me. She's like, oh my god, your friend's in the room. And, like, normally somebody else would just stop and just, oh, dude, what the hell, get out of my room. But he turned his head. He looked at me. We made eye contact. And then he turned back around to go and finish. You know what I mean? And I was just, and she kept pushing him out the way. You know, the freaking fish tank was falling. I'm standing there with my brand new Nikes. I didn't want to get no fucking, you know, sex fish you know grease on my shoes or whatever you know i was just like i was trying to back away from the tank i'm like dude like just what the hell's going on and and then he pulls out he's running around with a boner and oh my god he ran right next to me because his closet was right behind me i was almost touched by that thing you know what i mean i was just like what the hell am i doing here in the first place why did i come here this is just hell and then she's running around trying to cover herself up whatever his mom walks in because she heard all that noise she's like what the hell is going on she sees me just standing there against the door like horrified she sees you know her son with a freaking floppy boner running around and she sees his girlfriend with her titties just flapping around everybody watching trying to look for her freaking shirt and what I wanted to do was I wanted to leave. I felt embarrassed. I was like, oh, man, this must be really awkward for him. I mean, it was definitely awkward for me because I was never expecting to see my friend's ass before. But, you know, especially in action. So I was like, oh, God. You know, I, I just wanted to get out of there. And then without even hesitating, my friend puts on his pants. 
and then walks on over and tries to give me a handshake. Mind you, I did not want to shake that hand. Lord knows what the hell was on that fucking hand or what he did with that hand or I don't even want to even imagine. But it was a weird funky smell coming from that hand too. So I was like, uh, no. I, you know, if you want, we can just do the, uh, you know, a, a, a invisible high five or something. But I'm definitely not shaking your hand, dude. You got to be out your damn mind. I'd rather just slurp mustard from a straw through my nose than shake your hand at this point. So, um, pretty much from there, they broke up a little while after and whenever. So, you know, I always bring that story up of when I caught them in the moment or whatever. And then he had a flappy heart on running around, almost knocked the fish tank over and spilled that shit on my shoes. But, you know... He always gets a little embarrassed. He's like, man, don't tell nobody about this shit. This is embarrassing, man. And I'm always like, yeah, yeah, but little does he know I'm making this video exposing him. So, but nevertheless, I'm pretty sure nobody ever wants to see their friends, you know, in action or see their butt cheeks or whatever. I mean, he had a hairy ass too. I was just like, oh my god, it's like, it's like staring into Sasquatch's soul. I was like, oh hell no, I gotta get my ass the hell out of this room as soon as fucking possible. But uh, guys, let me know in the comment section below on some of the funny sex stories you guys have had or have encountered with your friends. Uh, but th that, that's much. That, that's pretty much it for today because uh, we're about to win anyway. But I might as well just call it right here. That's it for today, everybody. I'm Unmuted Entertainment Gaming signing off. If you guys are Call of Duty fans, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for all the latest Call of Duty news information and updates. If you guys enjoyed the video, if you found this video inter entertaining, um, please leave a like. Leave a comment in the comment section below, like I said, guys, telling me some of your funny stories or, you know, encounters with your friends or whatnot. But uh, right now, we're really close to winning this. So, I mean, guys, I'm, I'm telling you, I was horrified when I saw that. I was just like, oh, my God. But uh, I'm definitely going to be bringing you more of this, guys. I mean, certainly, you guys are enjoying it. I'm having a good time telling you guys some of these funny experiences, you know what I mean? But, uh, oh, and to answer some of y'all questions, a lot of you guys apparently are asking me how does it feel like to lose your virginity. Like I said, for me, it was horrible because I didn't know what the hell I was doing. You know, the girl I was with, she wasn't really, like, you know, the uh, expert in sex because we were both lost at that moment. But it is what it is. And I got the last kill, bitches. I hope I went positive. Probably went, like, negative one or two. So I don't even know. But uh, that's it for today, everybody. Like I said, I hope you all have a happy holidays. I will be doing the Black Ops 2 uh, PS3 giveaway really soon, so stay tuned for that. On that note, everybody, take care. Happy holidays. God bless. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. And uh, I'll be seeing you guys later. Peace.